Hey guys, welcome everyone to the fifth tutorial of Arduino tutorial series by Tronixer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the analog read operation using a sound sensor. In previous video, we saw about the analog write operation. In this video, we are going to see about the analog read operation using the sound sensor. For this tutorial, we are going to need a Arduino Uno, a sound sensor, some male to female jumper wires and a serial cable. So let's get started. So first let's see the sound sensor. A sound sensor has a mic over here which senses the sound and gives its output at the output pin. These two pins are VCC and ground and here there is a trimmer register which is used for adjusting the sensitivity of the sound sensor. So let's connect it to the Arduino. So first let's connect the sound sensor to the Arduino using the wires. I am connecting the red wire to the output. the grey wire to the ground and white wire to the VCC like this and now let's connect these wires to the Arduino connect the red wire to A0 pin of the Arduino which is connected to the output of the sound sensor then connect the grey wire which is the ground of the uh, uh, ground of the sound sensor to the Arduino and connect the white wire which is the VCC of the sound sensor to a 5 volt pin of the Arduino like this so now our circuit is complete and let's connect the Arduino to our laptop so now let's move towards the screen first let's take a look at the schematic diagram First, the 5 volt pin of the Arduino is connected to a VCC of the mic. The ground pin of the mic is connected to the ground pin of the Arduino. And finally, the output pin of the sound sensor is connected to a A0 pin of the Arduino. So these are the connections which are required for this tutorial. Now let's move towards the programming section. Well guys, this is the code which we are going to use to program a sound sensor. The code is same as the digital read code. Only the difference is instead of button, it is sound and instead of button state here it is volume. And instead of digital read, we are going to use the analog read option. So first we have initialized sound. Well, I have labeled the sound sensor as sound, which is connected to a A0 pin. Now, serial begin 9600, which is used to set the serial monitor. And this is the baud rate of the serial monitor. Then we have initialized sound sensor as input. Then we have initialized volume equals to analog read sound, which means the volume will be the analog reading of the sound sensor and serial print ln volume it will be used to print the volume current volume on the screen and the delay is set to 100 so let's up connect the Arduino to our laptop and upload this code Now our Arduino is connected to our laptop, so let's upload this code. The link for the code is available in the description. So now our code has been uploaded. So let's go to serial monitor. 
Now this is the voltage reading and as I speak the voltage increases to 1 volt and here it is 0.25 volts. So when I say hello, 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 the reading of the voltage changes. As I am speaking on this video, the voltage reading is being read and it is converted into voltage which is our volume. So guys you all can see as I speak the voltage keep on, keeps on changing. So it was easy right guys. So now let's move towards the hardware. Now all, all of you can see as I speak the sensor value keeps on changing. This is the work of sound sensor. So today we have completed the analog read operation. Up till now we have seen the analog read operation, analog write operation, digital read operation and digital write operation. So from next time onwards I am going to show you various applications of these cores. These are the basic cores which you, you are going to use in almost every project. So hope you all enjoyed today's video and if you all like it don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. Hope you all enjoyed today. Thanks for watching.